I can't get enough gradient, so we're going to have to do this in a gradient color. Because that's just the way it is. Here's what I've been seeing in the meta. Blue, black, red, green. white green so this is tokens really tokens should be its own thing but most of them are, are white green by that I mean cats Let's just jam it right here. I guess we should put it up here. Green, black, for sure. We'll call it Explore, but it's eventually going to be green, black, good stuff. I mean, I played a ton of this. Uh, pre pre-patch and I'm not really sure this deck got a lot of stuff from our or I'm in cat like I can't think of very much it got it was a strong deck it is a very good deck but I'm not really sure it got many upgrades maybe get some doom falls I mean that's about it the green was all Rick's it's all J Light or J Light Rangers and Merfolk, Dusk Legion Zealots, Seeker Squire, Lurking Chupacabras, Wild Growth Walkers. So what happened was, well, all right. Let me let me make sure those are the. There's nothing else I want to put in here. Uh, we'll throw RDW up there. But also red black pirates, because I think they're basically trying to do the same thing here. Or just red black. Yeah, California's on it. That's true, DMK. But that's not the case now. When I feel like this deck's going to run out of steam a bit. Unless they just start splashing for blue. Like, I was already splashing. Well, I tried to splash for blue for Hadana's climb. Didn't really work. But if you're just splash, if you're just green, black, splashing Scarab God, that's a thing. All right. Yeah, we can put Merfolk. It'll be interesting to see how Merfolk comes along. Or at least I'm interested. There's some fringe other stuff. Do you see that much, Vamps? I guess people are still doing Vamps. Basically... We're, people are still doing very much what the pre-cons were, which is a little bit surprising, but also not considering the rate of acquisition of cards. Uh, people aren't really doing white-black. Uh, White-blue is good for... Ay, ay, ay. White blue is good for control and approach, but most people are not going for approach. 
Or at least I haven't seen. Uh, vamps are there. I don't think this is a very good vamp deck. I think the only good vamp deck is a token style. Which is either like mine with pride or with radiant destiny. Either way, I think you have to be tokens. You have to be playing like four Call of the Feast and four Queen's Commissions. I'm not in love with Queen's Commission, so maybe only three. But I don't think most vamp decks are very good now. Because if people are trying to run vamps with a Danto Vanguard, I think you're in the wrong place. Um, can we make this look any better? There we go. So I have I ran a bunch of vamps on Saturday. I pretty much only ran vamps, the pride vamps on Saturday. And after all that, yeah, Radiant Destiny, the enchantments, where is it? It's not even in this deck. Uh, I guess it's in the cat deck. They give us one Radiant Destiny. It must be in the cat deck. But you could run Vanquisher's Banner too, which they give us. And at the beginning of the day, I kind of concluded that White Black Vamps was pretty bad. But as I played some more today, I kind of came around, and I just think that it's really bad in this meta right now. Beard! Yeah. What up? It's just really bad for this meta. Because if we go back to the meta, I think it's decent against Blue Black Scarab God. Right now, I think it's better than Red Green Dinos. No, wait. It's worse than Red Green Dinos, but better than Red Green Monsters. So I feel like as people progress towards Red Green Monsters, it's actually going to get stronger. Because right now, too many people are playing Raging Sword Tooth. And at least for the Pride of Conquerors version, that's bad. Because our stuff doesn't get pumped up till when we pump it up. So the Radiant Ascension version is stronger against Dinos. Plus, everyone was given two Forerunners. Like, that's the problem is the cards that people were given are really bad. People, we were given two Forerunners, we were given two Fiery Cannonades, and both those are super bad for small token decks. I can't find it right now. Here's the Radiant Destiny. <laughs> See, so you say that, Beard, but... I disagree completely. I would face up against RDW every day of the week. So maybe you're talking about a different deck, but that's my best matchup easily. Easily. What? All right. Well, I wear bad dinosaurs twice. A lot of people's dinos are bad. And that's actually what makes the vamps worse because they're playing a lot of this enraged stuff. Needletooth Raptor is just super hot. I have to find this vamp deck. Where, I mean, the oh, Sun Empire. I've gone over it a million times. Right, okay. I didn't know if people were buying it, but I see people are just given two. And people are jamming this card. They're jamming this card, and because they're jamming this card, they're jamming in Rage, which means they're jamming these, which they were also given two of, and Forerunners. 
it's just really it's a really bad place right now for tiny tokens that get really big in one turn because a lot of people are jamming red green dinos or something like this once monsters comes along all the forerunners are going to go all the enraged creatures are going to go and the vamps are actually going to be better and um and that's true for red deck wins also the white green cat matchup for vamps is really bad because they're kind of doing the same thing i'm not going to say they do it better they do it a little different, and I don't think the matchup's very good. I'd say it's either 50-50 or more in favor of white-green cats or even tokens. The frilled, the frilled death spitter hits the uh, opponent for two. The needle-tooth raptor hits a creature for five. Wait, green white token vamps? It's your best matchup. What are you playing? California? Oh, Vamps is your best match. I see. I read it. Yeah, I don't think it's a very it's a, it's a pretty bad matchup. And once again, that's basically a precon they gave us. I'm sure there's, you know, lots of ways to change that. But because it's a precon, it's in the meta a ton. Green-white tokens was not in the meta at all previous to this patch. I made a joke green-white token deck, and I'm, I never saw another one. I mean, maybe once or twice. I'm not going to claim I made green-white tokens or anything, but it was not around before this patch, and now it's everywhere. And it's not a good matchup for vamps. So green-red dinos isn't a good matchup, and... White green tokens isn't a good matchup. Blue black scarab god, I think, is fine. Green black explore is okay. But once again, it's bad because they're using the crappy cards, in my opinion. Everyone's using the lurking chupacabra, which is. I don't think actually belongs in the green black deck. It should just be wild growth walkers and jaylight rangers. And branch walkers. And ravenous chupacabras. But the fact that people are running these lurking chupacabras means every explorer, they can pick off a token. Or pick off a legion's lieutenant. Once again, the radiant uh, destiny version is a little better there because maybe your guys can be all be three threes. So that doesn't work as well. But in my pride version, it's terrible. Red deck wins and red black pirates, I'm not too worried about. I feel like those are my best matchups. And that's why that deck is even 5 0 and in the Pro Tour is because red deck wins is like, you know, 20 to 30% of the meta. And if you have a good matchup against 20 to 30% of the meta, then you're going to be in a good spot. And Merfolk is there. But the decks are just so much worse than we were used to a week ago. And they take a lot of rares. Like, I warned some people about wanting to get a certain deck and how long it's going to be to get rares. But you need, you need those four deeper elites. You need some Kumenas. You need... You might not think you need Seafloor Oracle, but that's a good card. I mean, even there, that's like six six to nine rares. That's a lot from what we've been getting lately. <laughs> nice, California. I played against Ramanat Red, but in a weird is it deck. So it didn't really do much. He might have packed it. You can pack it. Are you talking about mono green? Anyway, so I came to the conclusion that my Pride Vamps is still a very good deck. Right now, though, the meta is very bad for it. 
So I built a few other decks. Um, this first one is a Boggles deck, which I think is sitting great in the meta, and it's fast. So let's let's look at this deck a little bit. 